from The Woodsy Couple and today I'm going to be trying out the um, new inflatable stand-up paddleboard that I got um, by the brand Dama. Um, super excited about this. It's 11 foot um, by 33 inches wide. Should be super stable. Um, I also got a kayak seat for it um, and the Dama even comes with like convertible kayak paddles. So. Um, super good deal. So I chose this bag um, from Amazon after researching a number of different brands and I came to Dama and so I'm going to try it out today and see how many pumps does it take to inflate that inflatable stand-up paddleboard. convertible stand-up paddleboard and kayak paddles that I was referring to. Here's the pump that we'll be using today that comes with the board, as well as the hose and a special adapter for the valve. There's also a dry bag that it comes with, with a bunch of different goodies, um, including a lead, um, as well as a fin, um, and a shoulder strap for carrying the board when you're not carrying it as a backpack. To, to carry with. Um, it's got eight D rings here um, as well as a nice little bungee for storing your equipment um, and there's a little GoPro cam camera holder. Um, looks like it'll also fit an iPhone too or an Android phone so um, super cool there. <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and untwist the valve and just make sure the cap is up. I've watched quite a few videos um, just, to, just to make sure that I'm doing the pump correctly. So for the purpose of this video is to see how many pumps it takes to inflate this Dama inflatable stand-up paddleboard, 11 footer. screws on nice and tight. This is supposed to just, yep, just latch on. Real simple. Make sure there's a good seal there. Comes with a little bit of a, a greasy feeling, so just FYI on that. It's just to keep it lubricated, I'm sure. Um, I was told to release the valve um, when you're first inflating it. And then once you hit about 12 PSI, you'll wanna just keep going till it hits about 15.
I hear it's good to kind of inflate your inflatables to the max, or at least, um, you know, inflate them all the way. Um, that way all of the ripples really come out and they have a chance to really come to their true shape. So I was a bit wrong, 400 pumps is about uh, nine PSI. I was reading the gauge wrong. On this Damo, you're gonna wanna look at the gray number and not the black number. So um, I'm just gonna keep, keep pumping and I'll let you know when I'm done. So we're at around 430 pumps and I just wanted to show you where the gauge is at. Um, it is becoming extremely difficult to pump. Um, I'm considering putting in the valve, but um, that made it even more difficult to pump. So um, I'm doing this by myself, strong woman, but uh, yeah, this is definitely a, a good workout. So I'm gonna keep going until the sucker is at least uh, 12 to 13 PSI. I'd really like to get it to 15 um, just to max it out, like I said. Um, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. PSI. I am going to screw the valve in at this point. I am going to screw the valve in at this point just to see if that gives um, some extra torque or oomph or power um, behind inflation. I'm really trying to get it to 13 PSI. Um, it's just becoming increasingly difficult and including the valve is, um, you can kind of hear it just being stressed out. <laughs> um, just trying to take a bit influx of air that I keep pushing in. So, um, we keep going. Um, maybe it'll be 700 pumps. We shall see. Um, yeah. So after about 800 pumps, you can see that we just barely reached 14 PSI. Um, as you can tell, that 15 max is probably going to take you another 100 pumps. Um, I'm not going to do that for the sake of this demonstration. Um, I think it's time to start loading up the accessories and just showing you guys what the sucker can do. So hello again. As you can see, just a little sweaty. Um, so it took 800 pumps to reach 14 PSI 
I didn't quite meet that 15 PSI maximum that this guy can handle, um, or girl. Um, but uh, I'm pretty proud of myself for doing 800 pumps at 14 PSI. It's no joke, and I am strongly considering getting an electric pump. Um, in fact, I have an electric pump. Um, it just doesn't have a PSI reading, um, so that kind of um, scares me a little bit. Uh, worry about inflating this guy. You know, it, it was a bit of an investment at $339, um, but a great investment. And I can't wait to get this guy on the water and show you what it can do. And I will do that this weekend when we camp at Crooked River Campground. Um, that's in Dade City, Florida. And we'll show you more of that when we get there. And I'm so excited for that. But for now, I wanted to show you the other accessories that I got in addition to everything that I showed you that came with the Dama board. Um, I did go ahead and just get a single kayak seat. It's a pretty nice one, actually. Um, and it's by Freon. It's got um, a little plastic carabiners. Um, pretty decent strap, so I'm going to attach this for you um, and show you how that works. Um, I also got a little kneel pad thing just because my knees are a bit sensitive, um, my butt's a little bit sensitive, and I know that when I'm out on the water for a long period of time kayaking that my lower back kind of starts hurting, um, especially after pumping this guy up. Um, it's screaming a little bit, so I'm going to want this extra support for sure. All this stuff, by the way, is going to be linked below um, just in case you uh, you feel the the need to purchase it yourself uh, after hearing this review um, or at least seeing what I'm purchasing it's not really a review more of a preview before I actually use it <clears throat> I also didn't realize that the Dama board came with convertible kayak paddles so I went ahead and bought these from Wileen as you can see the cheap nylon bags split immediately as soon as I put the paddles back in. So um, I'll put these together for you. I did them last night. Um, they're a little bit more cumbersome than the Dama uh, paddleboard paddles. So um, yeah, and they're a little bit heavier too. I'm not sure what works best in the water. I'll bring both next weekend and we'll try out both and see which one um, really wins out. Before I lay this down in the grass, I made sure that I picked up any sand spurs and um, you know sticks that might poke it, um, just in case. This is you know really strong um, material, but just in case I didn't want to damage it, just let you know. Um, go ahead and just put these paddles together here. Dama paddles are like super easy to put together and they're super light. You can see. <clears throat> this is pretty nice. Let's sit back in my chair here. Yeah, this is pretty good. I can see this happening. back support here. Now these also convert to stand up paddleboard really quickly when you're out in the water. Shut this back in. very carefully. Obviously you won't be wearing jeans while you're paddle boarding, but work with me here. Yeah, 
look at that gator. Cool fish. Manatees. So this is the Dama paddle that was included. This is the Wileen paddle. This bag is absolutely garbage, it's just splitting as I pull out the paddle. So. Glad my Dumba board comes with good paddles and a bag. So here's the paddle board handle for the sake of this demonstration. These both, um, each side has those really easy clips. So it is pretty simple to do when you're out on the water. Obviously you won't be putting your paddles out in the grass like I am. You'll be sticking them here. Um, yeah. Seat back. So that was my uh, preview to the Dama inflatable stand-up paddleboard. Uh, inflating it took about 800 pumps at 14 psi. Converted it also into a kayak, super cool. Tested out two different sets of paddles. Um, and now I want to show you what else comes with that Dama stand-up paddleboard um, inside the dry bag. There's nothing, but I stored all the stuff that came with. Um, this is a pretty cool dry bag, comes with a little D-ring. Um, great for storage, five liters. It's pretty decent size in my opinion. Um, need a little phone case for taking underwater shots. Should fit my iPhone 10, I think is what I have. Um, here's the lead that it comes with. Um, it is uh, one of these accordion cords, which I'm not like a super fan of, but um, you know, it is inflatable. So the, you know, the likelihood of the board coming back and, and hitting me um, and really causing damage is pretty slim. So I'm okay with it, I'll let it pass. Um, here is the shoulder pad carrier. Um, shoulder strap is what you would call it. Um, I'll try it out, I'll put it on this and see how easy it is to uh, walk around and carry it around when you're actually at the beach or the river, the lake. Um, <clears throat> so this is the fin that goes underneath. I'm not gonna put it on for right now. Um, I think you've seen plenty of videos that demonstrate putting fins on. Um, so I know I have. Uh, this is a pretty different way of doing it. I'm not like super enthused about it just because it is plastic and the likelihood of it snapping off seems, um, or it is higher. Um, than a metal piece that would screw in, but um, it does seem, you know, like a pretty decent, um, you know, pretty decently fabricated. I think that it'll it'll hold up well. So we'll see. I really don't want to lose the fin. And this looks like another strap. I think this is to tie down um, the dry bag. Yeah or just another strap for the, the top handle. All right. So I did want to give you a closer inspection of the board, um, just so you can 
take a look at some of its imperfections and defects, you know, for a lower price board, um, you can expect that it's going to have some glue showing. Um, it's going to have some seams that look loose, but obviously aren't. And it's inflated um, and holding air. Um, so, yeah, just little things like that. I just wanted to show you just so that you're aware. strap is a bit cumbersome um, carrying it. It is an extra large board being about it's 11 foot so um, I think it's easiest to carry on your right shoulder with your left hand. Um, at least it is for me. I'm right handed. Um, so yeah. Ready to take this out on the water. Super excited to take this out on the water next weekend. Like I said, we're going to Cooker River Campground in Dade City. Um, and I can't wait to take you along. It's been Teresa with the Woodsy Couple. I'm out. <laughs>